Hey guys, this is Candice Beasley, group creator of AliExpress Virgin Hair Review Central, the good, the bad, the ugly, and all things Ali on Facebook. This is just going to be a straight to the point review of my Queen Weave Beauty Deep Wave in the inches 16, 18, 20, and 22. Um, I ordered it right before Thanksgiving and got it the Monday after Thanksgiving. And I installed it, um, I made a U part with the flip over method. I followed um, the flip over Ivy. Ivy's flip over method which was done by Morgan Morgan Taylor because she did a unit flip over and I watched her video and found out how to do it um, and four bundles is what my go to I wouldn't have wanted three because this look is as big as I want it so I used most the majority of all four of the bundles I had some left over but to do the flip over method, no closure, I was like, yeah, I was, and I don't have but this much hair out, and that's the recap right there. But anyway, the white stuff that you do see like right here and right here, that is not a queen weave beauty problem. That is the sealant that I chose, which is the 60 Second Salon Pro Sealant, which I do not recommend because it definitely turned my wefts white. I would be taking this off of this unit after this install, whenever I'm finished with it, and I will be doing something for that. Anyway, um, I did tell you the links. I paid $242, and I paid through PayPal, and um, I received it within a week's time. I was really anxiously awaiting it. Now, I co-wash it weekly. I do. I co-wash it with Organics. They had a sale at Walgreens. They had a sale at Walgreens where you buy, um, I think it was buy one, get one free, as a matter of fact. So I conditioned it with that. And then I have some Dove Intensive Care that I uh, kind of mix with that because I just love it. And it, I use a lot of conditioner, so this is not going to last long. So I kind of mix it with that big old thing of conditioner or whatever. Rarely do I wash it. I mean, I, co I, wa I wet it up weekly with this. But when I do wash it, maybe it'll be every two to three weeks, I might use this is the coconut milk shampoo. Or if there's a lot of buildup, like from products, which I don't use much product. I'm going to show you what I use. I'll use a clarifying shampoo. This was just uh, one that I picked up because I ran out of my uh, Mazzani. But this is going to basically, this is not something that you put on your hair every time you wash it anyway, for those of you who do wash it weekly, because it's, it's designed to strip your hair and rid it of all of the buildup, and it might leave your hair dry. As with any other regular shampoo, washing your hair all the time is going to make your hair dry. This is sulfate-free. This is why I use the organics on, my, on all of my weave. After I wash, well, co-wash for the most part, I will put on a curl defining cream by the dime size amount. This is also organics and I got it buy one get one. And um, depending on the weather, and this really doesn't work as good as I thought it would. It just, it, I don't think I'd recommend it. It's not the truth or anything, but this is what I'll put on it for the, the frizziness. And it really, I don't think it works as good as it should. Uh, I rarely use that, but if it seems like it's dry on any of my weave, I'll use the penetrating oil. But like I said, rarely do I ever put that on my hair. It's basically product free except for this for the most part because I always put that on after each coat wash. Now, for my edges, I tried to do the Gorilla Snot and I just don't know how to lay edges. So I don't really, I just bought it because I heard it was the truth. You, I heard that you have to mix it with another gel. And I don't know what the purpose is if you have to mix it. But anyway, that's all that I use on my hair. I never comb through it when it is dry. I always do it with a wide tooth comb when it is wet. Now, the problem that I'm having with the Queen Weave Beauty is at the nape of the neck. I don't know if you can probably won't even be able to see but it seems like it's always tangly back there I have to detangle it like night nightly that's why I'm glad that it's a unit and not a sew-in because if I, I, I sewed it in that close together 
I would have a fit every night trying to get it untangled back there. So I'm glad I can just fix it and go on about my business. And I detangle it every night. So it's an everyday problem where there's um, some back action where there's too much going on and it gets tangled up. So um, besides that, this is the amount of shedding that I got from the last time that I did it. This is the most that I've ever gotten. I mean, usually a fourth of that is what I'm used to. But this was what I got the last time because I had um, a, a big problem at the back. And that's just being honest my what I had and I always come from the bottom to the top like I said I do see my whip my um, my whiffs um, all in all that's just basically it the only problem I had was from the uh, the back being tangled but next time I'm going to sew my my uh, my whiff a little further apart and not have it so close together because I had it, that's where it hits me, and I'm five two. I had it, I did it really close, because I knew I had four bundles, and I was like, baby, all this is going to fit. But anyway, uh, the behavior of the hair about the, by the week, now, right now, I washed it like a night, last night or the night before last, and the curls are popping. Got my uh, curl defining cream on it and everything like that. After a few days, the curls won't be so defined. It will get kind of, it'll get bigger as well, and um, to get this look back again, all I have to do is do my weekly wash, and boom, it looks just like this. Uh, it's not as big as it was the the first time that I installed. I can I can say that the curls did fall slightly, but this what you see is what you get. This is a month's wear, and I think that's all I have to say, ladies. Alrighty. I will be continue to wear it all up until past Valentine's Day probably. I see you in February. Bye.